Sugar Chrissy and the Seven Minute Squeal. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. And do we have a good show for you and it relates to one of the stories we're going to tell you about today. Boy, do we have a good show. Thank you for joining Land Cruiser Midwest in our seven-minute squeal series. They're having fun, and we're starting to build up a big, big catalog of uh, seven-minute uh Oh, I don't know what you call them, news bites, and uh, let's uh, let's get our old striker Roo going there. There you go, strike, strike, striker Roo, and um, gee, I think we got one uh, one endorsement today for you guys. Uh, I think you'll know who this Fox is. says, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Land Cruiser Midwest. To me, Wonder Pressy and Susie Q are the best thing when in Springfield by far. Alright, and one more. One more. I think you're going to recognize the Dr. P here. Land Cruiser Midwest and Wonder Chrissy are awesome. Now let's get on with the show and see if we can help more crazy folks. So let's do just that. Let's talk about our first story today. So today's first story is about Bigfoot. Have you guys ever gone hunting for Bigfoot? I'm ready, man. I got my hat. I'm ready to go. So the folks, there's a, well, there's a politician in Oklahoma that's uh, proposing a bill that the Department of Natural Resources in Oklahoma go ahead with establishing license and fees and rules for hunting Bigfoot. Right? So there how strange is that? Some people say Bigfoot doesn't exist, some say Bigfoot does exist. But whatever in Oklahoma, they're going to have a hunting season for Bigfoot, folks. So there you go. I'm looking forward to that. I'm planning my trip already. I just need to just need to find out when the season is going to be. Yeah, yeah, I bet you there are going to be lots of hunters out there. And, uh, yeah, I think you can, uh, I don't know. Let's see if we got, uh, here's, I think, Bigfoot drinking. Can you hear him? There he is. He's waiting for us to come hunting. He's taking a little drink in the meantime. Okay. All right. So on to the next story. The next story for you. Uh, yeah, there you go. Bigfoot's done now. Almost done. Done, Bigfoot? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, he's done now. Okay. Now the story you've all been waiting for. And it's timely because tomorrow they are imploding the Trump Plaza in Atlantic City that was owned at one point by Donald Trump. Now I guess he only owns maybe, oh, maybe none of it. It's owned by Carl Icahn. But they were looking for bids to push the button. The mayor of Atlantic City was looking for bids which would go to charity for anybody that wanted to be the uh, have the honor of pressing the button that would implode the Trump Plaza which uh, filed for bankruptcy and closed in 2014. Um, it resides right next to Caesars on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. I know myself and uh, Susie Q had been, we stayed at Caesars many years ago, and uh, we, I think at the time uh, the Trump Plaza was just closing. But, uh, yeah, they filed for bankruptcy in 2014 and has just been withering away on the coast of Atlantic City. And... Uh, you know, it's it's open to the elements there. So if you want tomorrow, watch the news. We'll probably have a clip on it tomorrow for sure. I'm sure there's a lot of people that just love to see anything with Trump on it come down. So 
January 29th. It's going to be imploded. And uh, that's my story. So I hope you enjoyed today's uh, seven-minute squeal. And uh, we look forward to you guys coming back again. Like, share, subscribe. I am Wonder Chrissy. This is Land Cruiser Midwest. Over and out the seven-minute squeal.